as I said that Imran Khan, it's not just a blasphemy issue, it's also a minorities issue as well. And I said last time, uh, last week, uh, after Salman Rushdie's attack, some, uh, Imran Khan was, uh, he didn't actually say this to his local media. He was interviewed by The Guardian. And then he said that obviously these days everyone picks up on that and people who criticize, there was there were hashtags against Imran Khan that he is a, uh, you know, he, he's a Zionist agent or, you know, he's not a lover of the prophet, etc. So so he, he he took the risk, so credit where it's, where it's due. But I think not necessarily he did it out, uh, out of the goodness of his heart because, again, he was asked this question by a British journalist. So he had to say, yes, you could, he, 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 there, there couldn't have been any ifs and buts. But he just, um, uh, last week, he gave another statement. Have a listen to this one. This obviously... Um, for, for nearly three and a half years, we kept sending him his uh, human rights minister office uh, emails upon emails of all the girls getting kidnapped. There is one. They always, they never commented on that. But this time he actually acknowledged that it is happening. So have a listen to what he had to say. Forced conversions. Because logo ko sin me khas pe کہ لڑکیوں کو زبردستی مسلمان کر لیتے ہیں دیکھیں قرآن کی واضح آیت ہے دین میں کوئی زبردستی نہیں یہ اللہ کا فرمان ہے جب بھی کوئی مسلمان یہ کرتا ہے وہ اپنے دین کے خلاف جاتا ہے وہ اللہ کے فرمان کے خلاف جاتا ہے کہ زبردستی کسی کو دین کی طرف لے آئے تو یہ بالکل میں پوری طرح ہم اپنے دین کے اوپر چلتے ہوئے اس کی مخالفت کریں گے جو زبردستی لڑکیوں کو مسلمان کیا جاتا ہے فورس کنورجن سو ناؤ ہی از ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اٹ ناؤ ہی از سینگ او ائی ام یو نو ائی ائی کنڈیم دس دس از اگینسٹ اور ریلیجن ایٹسٹرا اے کلاسک پولیٹیشن فار 3 اینڈ 1/2 ایئرز ہی واز ان پاور ڈیڈنٹ ڈو اینی تھنگ ام ٹو بی فیئر ا لاسٹ ٹائم ون ون دے ٹرائی ٹو پاس دس لا ان سنت اسمبلی سنت اسمبلی واز ناٹ ان ہز کنٹرول he had the coalition government in balochistan he had a full government in punjab and um and, and uh, in kp but where these things happen in uh in in sin interior sin um in the center of sin where there's a big hindu community um they and the girls regularly get kidnapped uh one of his ministers they actually supported the the this bill, um that um no girl under 18 should be should convert to Islam and any girl who wants to, even uh, any woman who wants to convert to Islam, she must be interviewed first. She needs to be quizzed whether she understand what she's getting into, etc. So, but the clerics uh, always keep shutting that bill down. Three times the uh, the Pakistani government has tried to, uh, sorry, Sindh government has tried to uh, pass it through the assemblies and the and the Senate, uh, but it hasn't been able, they haven't been able to, um, to, to get it through. Um, but, Now, why does he always have to say this when he goes uh, uh, to these people to ask for votes? Why, why could he not talk about it um, uh, when he was in power? Why, uh, but, and why, why can he not talk about it more? Because he does enjoy a lot of popularity. Um, if a person like Imran Khan talks about it uh, once a month, where every time... such a uh, such an event happens which happens on monthly basis um then there would be an attitude a, a change uh, towards this attitude of oh no it's not happening or denying that or, or or not even acknowledging or some people might even be saying yeah it's okay they're only coming to islam so what's wrong about that i'm really glad he actually did bring it up as an issue because i mean again he's he's doing exactly what a politician would do right which again it's, it's annoying for me because at one point in time a long time ago but at one point in time i thought he really genuinely is like deep down a humanitarian at heart and um a part of me still thinks he is at some level but he you know politics is a tricky game and he's playing it like exactly how he thinks he's he should um and that's where it gets a bit you know it, it's I doubt his agenda then because it's like as you said why do you only talk about this issue when it's relevant to that vote bank you tell people what they want to hear you appeal to their emotion you appeal to their problems when and as it suits you but then the bigger picture is that I think especially with Imran Khan now is he is very much lost in which a lot of Muslims around me I see uh, in his own fluffy version of Islam he has taken an Islam which he adopts which is very similar to the Islam that I 
kind of made my own when I was a Muslim. It, it, it has to be to align with certain values. And in that, you, you think violence is wrong and you think killing is wrong and you say things like, Islam says there is no compulsion in religion. Now, these are all the fluffy things that I held on to. Killing one person is equal to killing all of mankind. Okay, so Islam is against it all. 9-11 was nothing to do with Islam. This is a very, very fluffy version. But when he says that, I mean, I, I really just feel like going all Muslim apologist on him and saying, out of context, well, let's read the tafsir behind there is no co compulsion in religion because it, it gets very different. You know, Muhammad was not very strong at the time. He had to appease those people. They were coming at him. It's Meccan days. He's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, fine. You, you do your thing. I'll do me. Just leave me alone. Um, and obviously the narrative completely changed after that. We can, we can pull out, pick out three other um, verses in the Quran that say the complete opposite. But I think Imran Khan's version of Islam is nicer as it is than what the mullahs are preaching and what the TLP and all them not stand for. It is also detrimental to Pakistan as a nation because he is saying things and then doing complete U-turns. He calls out you know, men going out and raping women, Pakistani women on motorways, but then he also victim blames massively and talks about women's respect and says men aren't robots. So what are you doing? Your, your confused ideology is now being passed on en masse to these people. And so these young boys are saying, yeah, Imran Khan's right. We're not robots. Of course, of course, we're going to, you know, something's going to happen to us if we see a woman in short clothes. And you're trying to teach these same people that excuse me, men should have enough self-control and respect of a woman's body. That is why all the women that can come out onto the streets and say, my body, my choice, there is a reason they are saying this. Um, so Imran Khan's confused identity, his confused lived experiences in the West and going back to Pakistan and trying to reclaim his identity as a Muslim, as a Pathan, as a Pashtun, as a Pakistani, as the leader of the Muslim Ummah, whatever he's trying to be, it's actually being very, very detrimental in actually pushing Pakistan forward as a country. Yeah, uh, yeah, th th that was one of his finest moments when he said that men are not robots, uh, who basically sanctioned it. Uh, and, and that comes from this confused, uh, his, his own confused version of uh, which he obviously doesn't think is confused, but he, he definitely is confused because uh, why is it that always the least learned people of Islam come up with this fluffy version of Islam. Why? Why is it always the case? That any, anyone who's actually a true scholar or, or, or an imam um, or a sheikh, why they always give you a much more strident, stricter, harsher version of Islam? Why? I mean, just ask yourself. I, or, or I always go to the lipstick Muslims. They're always like, oh, no, Islam is the most feminist religion. Oh, no, Islam is... A, a, Prophet Muhammad was the first humanitarian, <laughs> you know. And, and oh, have you read the Quran? Always, always start with this. Ask this, and they might even be compelled to lie, but just put pressure on them. I was speaking with someone yesterday, and I said, "Have you read the Quran in your in Urdu?" And if you lie to me, I would know because I would quiz you. <laughs> so you know. Then they say, "No, I haven't read it, but I know, I know my religion." So there you go. So that, always start from there. But if you like these videos and want to support me in my activism then you can support me on Patreon or PayPal. Stay free, everyone.